Earlier this week, we told you about a plan to extend municipal water into Green Township. It was music to the ears of some, but unwelcome news for others. Nicole Lee joins us in the studio with more tonight. Nicole. That's right, Jennifer. The reaction to the water project plan is certainly mixed. For some, the project represents safety and economic development, while others fear it could negatively impact their pocketbooks. Yeah. <laughs> it was smiles all around when Green Township received a $74,000 check this week. The money from Erie County will cover engineering fees for a project to extend a municipal water line into parts of the township. A couple of Green Township residents who were unwilling to go on camera said they'd be willing to pay for municipal water and think it would encourage more businesses to locate there. But other residents say their well water is serving them just fine. We have two wells on our property. I prefer our natural well water. I'd rather not have treated water. What do you think about paying for it? Definitely not interested in that because I'm still paying for the last water project that they did when they ran the sewer lines. So I don't worry about water and I don't really care whether they put a line out here or not as long as it doesn't cost me like it cost me for the sewer line. Green Township Supervisor John Bartnicki says connection to the municipal water line would be voluntary and there are no residential costs associated with the project at this time. It's not only residents and businesses in play. Cool Hose Fire Department also has no municipal water. Currently the closest fire hydrant to Green Township is this one in Mill Creek Township near the I-90 interchange. Firefighter Don Urban says when a fire breaks out they need to transport water in with their tanker trucks and count on neighboring fire departments for help. We have to call multiple departments just to be able to have enough water as a backup so we can do our job properly and efficiently. The water project is expected to be completed in 2026.